Hey guys, it's Mr. Oda. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about topic 3.3, survivorship curves. Now, you can see an example of the survivorship curves on the screen right in front of you. However, this is going to be going over a type of graph that you probably have never seen before. So make sure you're paying attention, make sure that you're taking down notes, um, and let's get into it. So for our learning objective today, we're simply going to be able to be able to explain survivorship curves. For a skill, the skill that you're gonna be worried about is explaining patterns and trends in data to draw conclusions. And as for our essential knowledge, we need to be able to describe what a survivorship curve is, the type one, two, and three, and the differences between those. And we also need to relate this to case-selected and R-selected species, which you learned in topic 3.2. So to start out, what is a survivorship curve? Well, it's not a graph that you've ever seen before because it is what we call a semi-logarithmic graph or a semi-log graph. What this means is if you look on the y-axis, you'll notice that it doesn't go by a scale that you would normally see. It goes up from one to 10, and then from 10, it counts in different increments. It goes 10, to 20, to 30, to 40, and then all the way up to 100. On the bottom on the x-axis, it is normal in that it goes from zero to 100%, and it represents the maximum lifespan of an organism. A survivorship curve shows the relative survival rates of a group of individuals of the same age in a population. So what this means is when you look at a graph you're going to see lines of a population and it's going to show you how likely they are to die at any certain age from birth up until their maximum lifespan. There are three types of these curves. The first type of curve, type one survivorship, is a line that looks like an overarch. And this is what they call late loss. The species that this will represent is generally a case selected species. And what this line shows you is that most of their population lives when they're younger. So they're not likely to die when they're young, but they will die at the end of their lifespan. Some examples of these types of organisms would be humans, gorillas, and other primates. For type two, Type two is a straight diagonal line down. And what this means is, is that organism is just as likely to die when it's born as it is when it is older. The main example of this would be the bird species that we see in North America. Type three is exactly the opposite as type one. It is a curve that drops straight down in the beginning and levels off towards the end. And what this represents is organisms where they are more likely to die when they are very young. There are, there are many different reasons for this to happen. As you can see in the examples, fish, trees, and sea turtles all show type three survivorship. And this is why. Parental care. Type one species like humans generally take care of their offspring when they are born for a long period of time, which increases their chance of surviving. However, in a type three survivorship, the organism does not care about their offspring, does not provide any support, and this causes there to be a high infant mortality rate. The trick here is that in order for them to survive, they actually choose to have, they didn't choose, they have adapted to have many offspring at one time. So this would be the example of a sea turtle, which releases hundreds of eggs at once, or other types of fish. And to go back to this, generally speaking, type three species are also R selected. Like I said, they have many offspring at once, and they are unable to provide the care, so many of them will die when they're young. Whereas type one is going to be like a case selected species. They are going to take care of their offspring, even though they don't have as many, 
and they're going to be more likely to survive. With that being said, let's see if you guys can answer an AP question. We have the African elephant here. It can live to be 60 or 70 years of age. Elephants mature slowly and have a long reproductive lifetime. They will give birth every four to five years and may have as many as 12 calves throughout their lifespan. Which of the following describes the African elephant? Write your answer down. Hopefully you guys were able to get this. Elephants, since they live for a long time and they only give birth to a few offspring at once, they are case selected. And they actually do take care of their offspring because they mature slowly. So they are also a type one survivorship curve. An elephant is not likely to die when it's younger, but it will die when it's in its mature age.